it is a little bit daunting at first, the motion capture and the, the gray suit and the dots on the face and the camera always out in front of the the actor who's, uh, you know, mostly for me, uh, Andy. But uh, eventually you just get used to it, you know. But at first it's like, uh, <laughs> I ain't used to this at all. And then finally you come to accept them, not just uh, you accept them as apes. They're such good actors and their physicality, and you just accept them as apes. And I think that most actors, and Woody certainly thought coming in, that he might be acting to like a tennis ball, having to create the whole thing in his imagination. But what happens is actually you don't do that in this process. He is performing right opposite Andy Serkis, and Andy's an incredible actor. So the chemistry between them is what you see. And, and that, that's the thing. It's funny. There's a version of this movie that exists that's just the mocap actors with their suits on. It's not Planet of the Apes. It looks like Planet of the S&M dudes and their tight outfits and dots <laughs> on their faces. But that movie works. That's the movie that we cut. That's the movie we put together. And that's the movie we work with with Weta to turn into the apes. So, so you could release that someday, maybe. You know what? We would really like to. Yeah. Ironically, this movie is the closest that... I the closest thing to theater that I've ever done. And yet I thought it would be completely opposite. It would be this technical thing that would be really daunting and impossible to do. And it was in a sense, but it was it was about being real. And when I auditioned for the role, I didn't know that it was for a Planet of the Apes movie. So when I booked it- What did you it, think it was for? I just, they didn't tell they didn't her. Tell us. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> so what did you have to do? I just knew that it was for a Fox movie, so I had to do like certain facial expressions and stuff like that. So when I found out that I got it, I was super, super excited. Can you give us some of the facial expressions you have to do? <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> oh, that was like the main one. That was hysterical. I'd cast you in my movie with that. <laughs> That's hard to do. You know, Jane Goodall saw the movie, and um, she really connected to it. It was really cool. And the thing, she actually wanted to see the movie uh, Dawn after it was done, and she went and took a tour of Weta because she was so happy to hear that it was a movie with photoreal apes that didn't use a single ape. And obviously, you don't want to use animals and put them through the cruelty of that experience. So we actually don't use animals, but it sure seems like we do. Hi. Oh my God. Sorry. Hey. Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Hi. I'll just leave it at that. I've wanted to meet you. Oh, I, I, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lipstick on oh. your teeth.